Young women are expected to dress modestly in a way that wouldn't distract young men who are pursuing them. Also, honesty is a very important virtue to the Catholics when it comes to courting one another, being honest with themselves and being honest with one another when it comes to breaking up or staying together or other issues like that. In a Catholic courtship, abstinence is the only option. Catholics go by the Bible's teaching that sex is created for marriage only. Also, while young Catholics are dating, they are encouraged to never be alone. It is advised to always have a chaperone nearby so that they are less tempted to engage in any sexual sin. When it comes to gender roles, Catholic relationships take on a more traditional view of the man being the head of the house and the spiritual leader. And despite social influence, the Catholic Church continues to believe that marriage and courtship are between man and woman who are fully committed to God alongside one another. Catholics believe in sacramental marriage, which means that they are married in the eyes of the church and the state. Both men and women are required to present their documentation of their baptism and their confirmation, as well as a civil marriage license. Also, a priest must approve a prenuptial examination form, and the couple must also each have a relative consent statements of freedom to marry. Catholics don't necessarily care at what age a couple gets married as long as it is under the state law as well. But in the case of a Catholic wanting to marry a partner of a different faith, a mixed religion dispensation must be approved by a priest during the engagement process, but it will not be under the laws of sacramental Catholic marriage. After a couple's been engaged, they find a parish, who is someone in the church who helps plan for the wedding and prepare for the couple for their marriage. The parish is a very important part of the engagement process. The couple typically pays the parish and the parish then uses the money to pay for wedding expenses. The engaged couple gives donations to the church as well during this time. In a traditional Catholic wedding, the guests are likely a community of the church and the family and friends. They can range in size, but the church is usually very involved. The guests at Catholic weddings dress formal, men wearing suits and women wearing modest dresses. Some traditions that Catholics have at a traditional sacramental Catholic ceremony is a scripture reading before the vows are made. Also, the bride and groom walk down the aisle together to represent equal partnership. There is no particular food served at Catholic receptions. However, a traditional Catholic wedding reception, the seating and meal will be very formal. The Catholic Church rejects arranged marriage. Their belief is that marriage is a sacrament in the church. They don't even allow for parents to give away their daughters or sons. It is completely between the consent of the church, God, and the husband and wife. The Catholic Church also sees dowry, or bride price, as a sin against the sacraments written from God. Dowry is believed to get in the way of the bride's total voluntary decision to enter marriage. They don't believe in any ulterior motives. The newlywed couple will live together only after the marriage, generally in their own house or apartment, just like any other married couple. Men and women are believed to be equal in the eyes of God and in their marriage. Men and women are believed to be created differently and wired differently, so they are to complement one another and become one in their marriage. For instance, the man is more of a leader and the woman is more of a nurturer. The parents of the newlyweds are simply there to encourage them and give them wisdom in their new marriage. However, when they become grandparents, it is their role to pray for their grandchildren and to pass on the faith and wisdom that their older generation has. The Catholic Church strongly encourages married couples to have children as soon as possible. They believe it to be an opportunity to be co-creators with God, and unless there is a legitimate reason for not being able to have children, they should be trying to conceive. The community is especially involved with the baptism of the Catholic child. The Church involves itself in spiritually leading the child in the faith starting from this moment of baptismal. Divorce is not allowed in a sacramental Catholic marriage. Jesus taught, therefore, what God has joined together, let no human being separate. 
the Catholic Church only allows an annulment process in which the marriage is evaluated to determine whether it was valid to begin with or not. If there is a case of infidelity or abuse, the church allows the couple to live separately, but remain married until the church has evaluated whether they are valid for an annulment. If one has received an annulment, then it is okay for them to be re remarried. However, if they receive a civil divorce and not an annulment and remarry, then in the eyes of the church, they are still married and committing adultery.